people in this room have been here. Um, <laughs> anyway, I had a unique situation uh, December 14th. I was actually hunting in Newtown in Augustine State Forest, which uh, he drew a straight line about a mile and a half away from where Sandy Hook School was. Uh, my girlfriend is a teacher in Monroe, and she text messaged me in the woods and said there's been a shooting in Newtown, uh, you know, go home, like I'm worried for you. I left the woods, I went to a deli, and I sat there, and I'm in full camouflage. And I'll tell you one thing, uh, I saw a, a little girl come in, clenched to her mother's leg. And it was horrific. I, I couldn't even get back to where I was going because the roads were all blocked off. Um, I have a state concealed you know, permit, weapons permit, and I had to go through a class, a test, the whole nine yards. <coughs> um, what I think needs to be changed in this country and for the greater good is there's no reason that anybody, there's no, you don't have to have a pistol permit to buy a long gun, an AR, whatever you want. Yeah, I think that somebody should have to go through a basic firearms class for proper handling and safety and all that to have any gun. There's no reason that somebody who's never touched a gun before in their life can walk into a store and say, I want to buy an AR, goes through a check, and two weeks later, gets the gun. There's no reason for that. Um, but I think it's pretty safe to say that most gun owners in this town are not criminals. They've never committed crimes with a firearm or anything. And um, I just don't think that putting any more laws on those law-abiding citizens is Mara, live on September Lane, and uh, I'd like to start off with a question. I've lived here for 25 years. I'd like to know, in that 25 years, how many gun incidents, either shootings, uh, murders, somebody being wounded, has occurred in West End? Do we have the answer I, to that? I can't give you an answer to it, but I will tell you, we had an incident in the past six months, a year, where, where four kids were shot in
I hope that uh, you consider all the inputs tonight uh, when you make your further decisions. Uh, a little more than, than all the statistics that you consider. Um, we heard a lady earlier tonight talk about property values. Um, and I just have one comment uh, that I don't think was brought up tonight. Um, that I think by deterring probably half of the population from settling down in Western, uh, we will hurt uh, our property prices. Uh, whether we struggle with them or we enjoy the, the, the high property prices that we have in town, I think it's uh, something to consider beyond uh, the property price issue that uh, the other lady brought up. Thank you. Chris Simone, 11 Jana Drive. Um, I've lived in Weston my entire life. I think we moved here when I was one. Um, I'm a gun owner. Um, been involved with um, you know, target shooting, hunting for most of my entire life. I think the law that we have on the books is a fair law, uh, the ordinance that is. Um, I think that we should advocate safe storage of ammunition and firearms. I know that that's something I feel very strongly about. Also proper training. I think telling people what they should own isn't the right approach. Um, it seems that that's been taken off the table, but I felt I should get up and, and just voice my opinion in that describing what someone might need in a certain situation, what is uh, maybe we don't like cosmetically, what we think is not appropriate. I don't really know that that's why we should be here today. If we want to do things, it should be education, outreach, and things that can actually have some